Hello everyone, Samsung QN50Q60TAF. So you can see the red light is on. So the TV plugged into the power and we have the standby light. So I have a similar TV over there. And that's my TV because I fix it and the customer uh, doesn't want to, to pick it up. And let's take the TV apart and uh, so this problem definitely is uh, the screen issue. So to, to take the screen apart there is a little hole here to put the, the open tool or I can use the two flat screwdriver. So in this area here in the bottom screen don't stick the, the screwdriver more than this because there is the coves. You don't want to damage uh, that. So just like that. And try to lift it. Here. In this area, it's okay if we go a little bit deep. Now there is no screws on this TV. So let me show you how we can open it. So we open the TV. Alright, so yeah, let me talk about some problems because I got a lot of questions about the Samsung TV and this is the, the basic troubleshooting you need to do. If you have the flashing light, standby light, or you have no light and you want to check your TV, the first thing you do is just check the power board. Unplug the main board. Plug the power board and you can see the backlight it turns on. Here, watch this this part here. See the backlight is off. Now the backlight is on. That's telling you the power board works, then the backlight works. So the second test, you can do this test without the multimeter. Just unplug the screen from the, the main board and just turn on the TV. If you have the backlight turns on, like now, and you may hear the sound, like now, it's mean the power board likely works, main board works, the problem is in the screen itself. Yeah, the TV turns on, you can see the backlight, but there is no display in the screen, no there at all. So definitely is a screen problem. So we got
So by moving the tape lock, I got this picture on the screen and with this black line, white line here and flashing. But that pixels lines over there is still sitting over there. So we keep moving the tape till we see if we can get a good uh, picture. Yeah, this TV is less than two years old. Yeah, this screen problem for all brands, Sony, Samsung, LG, Panasonic, or sharp screens. So now the, the, the black line is moving close to that uh, side. But we still have that lines over there. So I keep moving the tape till I see the maximum clear picture that we can get. So I start from here and I am all the way to here now. Yep, we still have the white line. So I'm gonna keep doing that till I find the, the best spot, then I show you where it's gonna be. So I did all this connector here and I end up in this one. And I put the tape right over there. It's about like three, four millimeter. All right, we have the picture. But you see we have some lines over there. And this is the maximum repair can be done to this TV as the screen is bad. A lot of time people asking, can I change this flex cable? Does it going to fix the problem? No, the problem is not the flex cable. It's not this cable or it's not this one. It's not the main board. The problem is in the pixels of the screens, even changing the code, it's not going to do that good. Many times, and this problem changing the cough is there is a short inside the pixel lines. Yeah, when the cough is short, you can feel the cough like extremely hot. But the cough is it just like warm. So the picture looks good. It doesn't look that bad. Just when you come close, you can see that lines. But from far, like I am, I'm about like five feet away from the TV. I can't see the lines anymore. But usually, uh, normal is gonna set about like ten feet or away from the TV. So this is all for this video. Thank you for watching, and see you again.